used to like to use shadows as a way of teaching in England. Of course, it was rare that one had the opportunity. It doesn't uh, present itself very often since it's mostly cloudy there. So uh, when I moved to California, obviously I, I was very pleased to be able to use that more commonly. And one of the best benefits of seeing a shadow in real time is when you take a practice swing and look with your shadow formed out to your right uh, somewhere between 2 and 3 o'clock on a clock face if where you're facing forward is 12 uh, and with the sun behind your left shoulder slightly the, when you swing back there should indeed be a triangular bright shaped uh, light on the ground between the shadows of your arms that triangle rather like an arrow point is pointing almost straight away from you if you've turned correctly now if you fail to turn it'll be pointing over there and often when people fail to turn they collapse their arms in close to them as a way of uh, building a swing from the remaining components and that triangle disappears or at least collapses so first of all we want to see that there's a nice triangle of light between the shadows of your arms and then the next interesting thing is that as you hinge your wrist correctly if you haven't counter bias your arms or tip the bucket as I often call it or counter scrolled your wrists then it should be possible that you should see the shadow of the shaft appear like a needle on a dial in that triangle of light so if you swing back with a full turn you'll see a triangle and the club's shadow will appear in it like a needle on a dial if indeed it does you've done very well this is a good uh, confirmation that your swing has been well formed now the error, if indeed you've performed one, is most likely that you get to the end of the backswing, either collapse the arms and have the triangle disappear, or unbias the arms, in which case the shadow of the club is going to be appearing above the shadow of your left arm. Now it's actually generally okay if the shadow of your left arm hides the club, but certainly the shadow of the club should not appear above it. We then finally act to make sure that having accomplished this picture we come down from there the usual last place that people go wrong having made the picture correct is that they then twist the arms at the last moment make the club appear somewhere else and then fire usually that will bury the club particularly with a wood and uh, hit the ball less well than we'd prefer so form a triangle see the shadow of the club in it and I call that the delta shadow <laughs>